After hundreds and millions of painstaking research hours, astronomers seem to finally agree that we've got some company in the universe. But how exactly did they reach this conclusion, and what evidence do they have to back up their claim? Join us as we explore the discoveries that prove that we're not alone. Since the James Webb Telescope launched on Christmas Day in December 2021, it has shown us some amazing and rare sights hidden amongst the dust of particles in space. But the discovery of WASP-96b arguably remains its biggest gift to humanity to date. Located about 150 light years away from our blue home, this strange exoplanet measures about half the size of Jupiter. However, it's just as intriguing as the gas giant. From our point of view, WASP-96b orbits its parent star once every three to five days. Thanks to Webb's sophisticated magnifying glass, we recently found out that there's a lot of water lurking between the planet's clouds and haze. And who knows, an entire civilization could be out there bathing, cooking, and sourcing fish from this mysterious water body. Kepler, 1649c. But come to think of it, what could be more fascinating than finding an exoplanet with a body of water? Perhaps we'll discover one with a similar starlight to ours. And that's exactly what cosmologists found when they explored old observatory evidence gathered in 2018 by the Kepler Space Telescope. During this second phase of data interrogation, they realized that the previous computer algorithms had malfunctioned. This prompted them to conduct new experiments that exposed the correct features of Kepler 1649c from 300 light years away. From the new observation, they found that this weird exoplanet receives a decent amount of starlight, around 75% of what our sun gives off. So while the folks at WASP-96b are swimming and washing in their waterlogged cloud, Residents of Kepler 1649c could be sunbathing under the gaze of their sun-like star, Ross 128b. Our next discovery is another strange exoplanet with a sexy name. This one is called Ross 128b, and just like the first two exoplanets we've explored, there's a good chance this strange celestial element is inhabited by strange beings. Compared to some other planets in our universe, Ross 128b is a young, budding exoplanet. It was discovered only in 2017 by the famous Xavier Bonfils from the Institute of Planetology and Astrophysics in Grenoble, France. In addition, Ross 128b is quite close to our planet. Official records show that it's just 11 light years away, and on average, the exoplanet takes 10 days to complete a single orbit around its parent. Interestingly, this star is an M-type, meaning it is redder, cooler, and dimmer than our sun and could one day possibly be hostile in the same way that we know it on Earth. Ice Moon Even as we continue to search the depths of space in search of extraterrestrial life, some studies have suggested that it could be much closer to us than we think, about a few million kilometers away from our Earth. But where exactly could it be hiding? Obviously, it can't be in the sun due to the unfavorable temperatures there. So where else could it be? Your guess is as good as ours, on the moon. Sometime in 2018, a team of NASA scientists confirmed the discovery of ice on the surface of the moon. Interestingly, NASA's Mineralogy Mapper, the scientific tool that facilitated the discovery, revealed that there are about 100 icebergs both at the north and south. This sounds ridiculously eerie and further complicates the love story between our Earth and the moon. Loveland Flaming Thing Speaking of love, the Loveland Flaming Thing is another discovery that proves we're not alone. To explore this particular incident, we'll need to travel all the way back to 1957, when Texas citizens were treated to a rare sighting of an egg-shaped object that emerged out of nowhere. One eyewitness even claims that the object made a lot of humming noise as it hovered across the skies. Of course, these claims were debunked and refuted by government officials, but since then, more egg-shaped and saucer-like objects have appeared in several parts of our planet at different times. Some lucky or perhaps unlucky observers even had close encounters with strange creatures aboard these mysterious objects that most of us have come to know as alien spacecraft. UFOs For the uninitiated, UFO is an acronym for Unidentified Flying Object. This three-word phrase gained huge popularity in 2017 when they started to show up everywhere in America. After the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program came to light, a video of an F-18 Super Hornet aircraft engaging a UFO starter made the rounds, and members of the public started to wonder if a war had broken out between humans and aliens. Not much was said about this weird clip, as officials looked to douse the rising tension, but it was only for a while. 
Soon after that incident, there were many reports of a fast-moving white oval-shaped object sailing through the skies. Again, very little was said about it, but as always, these sightings further validate the claims that we are not alone on this big blue planet, Europa life. Another discovery that suggests we might have company in the universe is Europa. Europa is one of the most popular and relevant moons around our gas giant neighbor Jupiter. Back in 2001, NASA scientists spotted a red tinge around this moon. This caused a lot of buzz, because conventional information suggests that most of the moon's surface is covered in ice. However, new research shows that the ice on Europa reflects infrared radiation in a weird way that suggests both elements are connected in ways that we do not understand. But somehow, the combination of these elements creates a suitable environment for organisms to thrive. Venus Cloud the discovery of phosphate by two different telescopes in the upper cloud of Venus in September 2020 created mixed feelings among astrobiologists. On the one hand, there was excitement. But on the other hand, some experts were skeptical about the discovery of this new potential evidence of extraterrestrial life. Here on Earth, phosphorus is recognized as a poisonous gas. But more often than not, the discovery of this weird gas is synonymous with the presence of living organisms. This means that, just like Kepler 1649c and Ross 128b, there's a possibility that life as we know it on Earth exists in the clouds of Venus. However, the harsh environment around the planet makes this unlikely. Astronaut Sightings While we sit here on Earth and deliberate about the possibility of life on other planets, we've got to admit that our knowledge of these things is quite limited compared to that of astronauts who have traveled to space. Edgar Mitchell, Catherine Kuhlman, and Dr. Brian O'Leary are some of the most prominent astronauts who claim to have had personal encounters with extraterrestrial creatures. Even the legendary Buzz Aldrin once claimed to have seen a mysterious object flying alongside his spacecraft during one of his trips to space. Initially, he thought it was the final stage of a detached rocket. However, officials at Mission Control confirmed that the rocket was actually 6,000 miles away from Buzz Aldrin and his colleagues at the time when they claimed to have made the sighting. So, either Buzz Aldrin saw something wrong, or scientists at Mission Control miscalculated the bearings of the rocket. Admittedly, most of their claims are unproven, but some of the things we've witnessed in the past suggest that some of these events might actually have occurred. But somehow, it would appear that the government is trying to subdue the truth by hiding evidence. Moon life. Saturn is one of the planets in our universe with a flurry of moons. As of the last count, this graceful gas giant has 82 moons, so when scientists got a hint that life could possibly exist on one of the moons, it was a moment of confusion because they couldn't pinpoint where to look. But NASA's Cassini spacecraft changed that about a decade ago when it detected water under the massive shell of ice on Titan. This discovery created a lot of buzz within the space industry and even beyond. As if that wasn't interesting enough, the team also discovered low-frequency radio waves on the icy moon. Most people won't like to admit it, but this definitely sounds like the footprint of a civilization that's definitely not ours. What do you make of these discoveries? Are we really alone in the universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this one.